Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from New York Toy Fair, and I am here at the McFarland Toys booth with none other than Todd McFarland. Hey, How's it Dan? going? Good. Todd? 2023. They I moved know. the date here. Toy That's Fair, right. So we're now in October talking about toys. Normally, I was going to say how we get in February. Uh, right? February, right? Yeah. How is how's that working? Is you guys adapting okay? It's been a. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if they do it again next year. That's the right? what I'm feeling um, too. Yeah. And because. As you know, uh, also traditionally the first week of October right. is New York Comic Con. Right. And they had to, New York Comic Con had to move. And it's and like I, two I weeks out, right? Yeah, I don't it's... know. I don't know. Two big sort of geek events right on top of each other is the way to do it, it's or whether weird. you need a. But anyways, we're here. Anyway, we're here, yep. and there's new toys, and yep. we are going to talk about some new toys. So uh, Todd's going to walk us through some of the cool new things on display here at the booth, and why don't we just start right here? We got the new Dune product line yeah. on display right next yeah. to us. So, again, look, um, you're trying to find brands that people like, and then right. the other thing is you're also trying to be as accurate as possible, right? So we've got, you know, a, again, I usually like to talk to them about their name, but this is Zendaya, this is the actress, you know? Zendaya, <laughs> sure, yeah. Instead of the name name, because, again, people are fans sometimes of the actor. Right, right. you got right. Christopher Walken. So it's interesting because if you get, if you get it in the right light... Then, then the likenesses you see Man. actually how good they are. So if you hold it at the wrong light, you no, go, that doesn't look like get him. those shadows. And then, and and then you get the right one, and you go, "Man, that's Christopher!" Like it, I'll show you one a little bit later. Uh, and again, that I went, that doesn't look that much alike. And then you bring it down here. But obviously, I love it. Uh, so this one is a obviously Tim Chalamet. This is um, a uh, chase figure. Okay. So this, I mean. I don't know why they don't have the regular figure, but this is a chase figure that's in here, so I don't think anybody's sort of seen this one yet. Very but cool. this one, well, it's okay. There's one here, and then this one's kind of cool because, you know, he just, obviously, Austin Butler, you know, got all that pub, not only on Dune, but then he followed it up with his Elvis, right? Right. And, then, and so you, which is sort of interesting, you're used to seeing with that big quaff in the first movie, and then here he is with the bunch. But again, the likenesses are good, right? Absolutely. I mean, this line was one of the better ones in terms of catching, I think, sort of actor likenesses. Then we've got some two-packs here, and then uh, and all of this is going to be available sort of everywhere. And then this is uh, our, our own sort of McFarland Toy Store exclusive two-pack. Excellent. Right? And then before we, but before we go away here, one of the things that... I want people to sort of understand, and it's with all the regular figures. All of these are come, the single figures come with wire in them. Oh, so, excellent. So this is actually cloth, which I think sort of adds to the believability uh, a little bit. But all of, there's a wire in there. So this crunching on there is up to whoever buys it. You can make it flaring. You can put it off to the side like the wind's coming in, the cape's blow. So you can do whatever you want with this because there's a pretty solid wire that's in there. And that's true for all the figures here. And then even Christopher Watkins, you know, his cuff, right? All of this is here. So if you want to make it seem like that the wind that is blowing is or whatever. That is awesome. No, so, that's really so, cool. So, so sometimes the fun is posing the figure. Of course, yeah. But in this case, you actually get the pose. The, the cloth. The outfits and the, and the outfits. Right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. very cool. Yeah. No, that walk-in likeness is incredible, too. Yeah. I gotta say, I love it. That's really cool. Awesome. So there's the Dune line. Yeah, over here. Is it, so this this sort of wall, if you want to call it that, is our spawn wall here. There's a mixture of things that are already out uh, and things that are coming. So uh, this one, we've got it here because this one was up for one of the Toy of the yeah, Year. Yeah, Toy of the Year for action figure uh, category, That's in here, right? and then we've got some of the characters that have been coming out throughout sort of the last year couple years of the comic books here these two are i think are up for reorder just right now they're they're not out for sale i think they're for pre-order or they're just coming out so these are two of our new ones this is the reaper this is uh the uh disruptor disruptor fyi is one of the characters that uh on wednesday uh, Call of Duty came out and oh, Spawn was okay. in their battle that's right the yeah. battle pass season 6 yeah one of the characters that's in it besides Spawn and Al Simmons and you, you know a couple of the hybrid versions of Spawn uh, we added some characters the clown but the disruptors in there right? that is cool so this guy's going to be a lot more popular it's in there and then we've been doing the, the page punchers which is 
this thing that we do where you get your you get your base, you get a comic book with the actual package, and then you get a couple of the figures. Each one of them has at least one figure that's in the comic book, right? So Gunslinger, Gunslinger, she spawns in the score spawn here. Um, and this is sort of our take of trying to maybe do something that might appeal more to the mom that are looking sure. for a birthday, yeah, something sure. birthday or something like that. But also, like, like those displays so. are really rad. Like, I love that with the comic book yep. kind of center and then yep. the figures. That looks really yep. good. And then the rest is just sort of some previous stuff that that has been there, right? Yeah. That, that, just sort of, that we've just sort of done in the past here, right? Some of the some of the crazy stuff, the two packs and whatever else. Love them. Right? And again, showing off the detail. So different price points for all this stuff, different sizes, different scales. But, you know, it's what we sort of do with all of it. We've got some uh, anim anime... Uh, well, let's. That's right. You want to move go, on over go, here? Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Damn. We're gonna cut you off. So, so uh, we've been doing a lot of anime uh, brands over the years. Sure. Right. right. So you know, obviously, we got Demon Slayer here. You know, people people like it. Um, and so we try to do not only the popular characters, but give them enough sort of movement and stuff, so you got the posing and capture some of the hard to do oh yeah like paint, the, like paint the on it right on yeah. yeah so some people won't do the some of the deco because they're going we can't get that but you know and the thing about toys now is they've now come fast forward with their technology just like everything else sure. and you can start doing oh, stuff right. now that you normally couldn't have done in the past right um so not everything is possible but we're getting closer and closer to thinking that we can do it yeah right so we end up sort of doing it some of the sort of bigger characters again given different sizes and different scales at different price points oh that's you know cool. the, look i've always thought that if you've got any like a brand that works a brand that people like uh-huh you should give different scales because everybody can't afford the same thing so right. some people want the high-end hundred two hundred dollar item i don't do those there's plenty of people in the showroom that do but you know we do do sometimes uh, you know 12 inch, 10 inch figures, right, right, right. or two packs, or the single ones, or something with a vehicle, yes. or something with you know an animal, or what, and then you go all the way down to doing something that you hope is an easy buy and an easy purchase, yeah, so that you can keep it reasonable, right? So the people, totally people would rather because some people would rather buy two of these. At that price, then maybe then like one, one of, of the, the yeah. Right? Gotcha. So you leave it. You leave it up to the customer to basically pick and pack whatever it is like that. they want. Oh, that's really um, good. Uh, that's in there. So and and again, here's here's again another you know the third scale, the big ones, right? So you've got essentially large, medium, small, right? Bam, 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 and, and they're all different price points. I don't know. Leave it. Leave it up to the consumers, right? Everybody, everybody knows what they like. No, that's good. I like that. I like hearing like kind of the the thought process behind that, and it makes total sense. That's really cool. Um, we're getting back into back uh, into the sports, sports again. Yeah. yeah. So we're coming coming back into the sports. Um, here's Ovechkin, who may break my beloved Wayne Gretzky's all time record of goals. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I should wish he gets an Achilles heel injury or not, but. <laughs> Um, but you can see, I don't know if you can get in there, maybe not. But he's getting to be an old man, so we've got the gray in the beard. Nice. Right? Because so, old man Ovechkin is coming down the pipeline. But let me show you what the, you know, we're going to do football. We've got football too, right? So let's yep. take a look at some of it. Yeah. What we're trying to do that we didn't do in the past is to give it like a better sort of shelf presence to oh, it. Oh, Right? Cool. So now you, you're, you're going to get your player, your athlete, placard behind there that comes in with the package. So oh, here, okay, that's what so, I was going to so ask. It's right it's here. Actually, oh, so it's, it's, part it's like of, the car back in the package almost. So instead of throwing that away, yeah. you now pull it out and you put it back up that, in here, right? That's cool. And then and then you get you get the base. I mean, the base is sort of hidden in here. Sometimes it's a bit of a shame because you can't kind of see everything that you're getting here. But if you open this all up, there's you don't throw anything away. All of this is being used. Sure. Right? So you got sure. the back. You've got the base. You've got this little key art here that's now the logo of the team that they play on. 
And then you've obviously got, which is why people are buying it in the first place, the actual figures themselves. Right, right. right. So, uh, uh, now, nice. we'll, we'll, fi we'll find, the hardcores will complain, because they go, Todd, they're so big, it's eating up my shelf, sure, right? I could see that, um, yeah. yeah. But I don't assume that people are completists. Uh, I assume that people will pick and choose. So even like if you- buy their favorite Yeah, athletes, or, or their or, uncle's okay. favorite one, or if sure. I end up, you know, doing, let's say if you're a Chiefs fan, I might end up doing three or four of them. Yeah. And so you can do all, you can get all your Chiefs there or something like that. I don't expect you to buy like all of them. Um, and then down here, we've, we're getting back into hockey. <laughs> Probably gonna change the stickers here so that they're they're more white, like the Barry Sanders, so it maybe feels like they're skating on oh, ice. Oh, like they're on ice, yeah. okay, a, I see what a, you A mean. little bit, because most of the uniforms, the home uniforms are dark in the yeah, NHL. Yeah, yeah. And so, it's getting just a little bit dark. I like the ones that, if they're dark, then you come in with the white contrast. Good contrast. Yeah, there. this yeah, has got I nice contrast. So all of these have uh, con nice contrast here. But we're, you know, again, we're still playing with this. This one, Connor McDavid, the, you know, easily the best you know, hockey player in the, in the NHL. But this is uh, the uniform that I designed oh. like 20 years ago. Oh, wow. And they, they wore it for a few years and then they put it in retirement, but they took it out of retirement last year, changed a couple of the colors on it, but I go, oh, Connor McDavid wearing my jersey. And you that's got to super, make it on a toy then. Oh, so that was perfect. Cool. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's yeah. cool. We did a couple 20 years ago that were, yeah. and then go, oh man, there's a jersey there. So, yeah. Uh, if we walk over to the other side. Let's do it. Oh, here's some House of Dragon dragons. Cool. So, um, this is oh. a continu this is a continuation of the you know the Disney Mirrorverse uh, you know video game app stuff that's in here. Again, we're trying to do we're trying to you know, one of the things that we're consciously trying to do is not make everything for the same buyer. Sure. Right. Sure. And so so there's two things. One, if somebody likes Batman, give them a choice as to what size and scale and price. The other one is. Well, everybody isn't 21 and, and likes that brand. You're right, Let's say yeah. that dark video game or that dark horror movie or whatever. Right, right. So, you know, I, I had kids and at some point I remember they were like, Dad, how come you never make anything for us, right? <laughs> um, so they're, yeah. all grow, they're all grown up now. But again, right, I mean, if you see like the detail in her face, yeah, you know, these, too I'm, bad you can't get a little bit closer on that because the, it, it's the, can you zoom? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, like when we were kids and you used to see the Barbie eyes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and that's on a figure that's, you know, again, four or five inches tall, right? So for for moms that want something that's not quite as dark and ghoulish as some of the course, stuff that of we course. do. Uh, well, and these are really great character designs, too, honestly. I think yeah, goofy. So fun. Yeah, like Anger. Right. I like that Baymax. It's so cool. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. This, like, who doesn't want that on their desk, right? He just is a perfect <laughs> shape. Little, little, little chunky dude. Um, here, you know, we came out with the Avatar. We're going to continue to do the Avatar movie. Right? Excellent. You know, yep. Given James Cameron keeps being the guy that in Hollywood seems to be the only one that can do these multi-billion dollar movies on a constant basis sure, or whatever else. Yeah. And again, different scales, right? Big, you got sort of big stuff, medium, small stuff, but the likeness and the detail in it for a reasonable price, right? I thought I thought all this came out. And then this all this stuff too is the black light stuff. So that oh, when, you, yeah. when you hit it, I don't know if you can see that on oh, your that camera. Is. But all of the, all of the figures have black light let me see like um, you can see in her neck right that is cool. so if you go away and then you bring your black light in you get, oh, wow. you get all of it yeah. so, and that's and that's on that it's on the it's on the the banshees i was gonna say the banshee the beasts are incredible on yeah. this line so and they're all yeah all of it right so I, get, I don't know if you can see in the belly here if you come in there's a lot on her belly here let me see if i go on the side ah. Oh, yeah. Right there. And again, we're having to get close because of the film. You don't have to be that particular when you're at home. Right. 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 If you're at home and you actually have a little bit of a black light even up here at night, it looks really cool. And then some of them come in with their own black lights right built in, right? So that at night, if you turn it off, 
you get sort of a cool feel to it. This is um, a great desk toy right there too, right? Like that just looks cool, yeah. and especially with the lights all on. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Even even to me, you know, there's something kind of fun about some of the. You know, this is the skim wing here, but the little tiny banshees with the riders on them. Yeah. Right. They're just sort of fun. Right. They're just sort of fun. Again, and and they're reasonably priced. Right. I go, hey, if a kid wants to get something from Avatar. You know, you shouldn't have to buy something big and spend a lot of money. Yeah, you should be able to yeah, get something, exactly. you know, in the $10 range or a little bit above that and take a little piece of Avatar home with them. So. Excellent. Uh, over here, we did our uh, license with Blizzard, you know. Yes. Uh, the, the good people at Activision, which is a big, giant parent company. Uh, World of Warcraft which obviously is a big one. So the, the thing that's... We'll, we'll probably walk over there when we're done because we'll get to see a bunch of them out of package sure. over there. Sure, sure. But the thing is, is that they're, you know, they're sort of frozen statues, if you will, um, because, again, that was the license that we were able to get. Um, but we then are adding all these accessories. Oh, very cool. So that you then can swap stuff out and take off like the shoulder pads and put on these shoulder pads and sometimes swap out the arms and swap, swap out the weapons and whatever else so it doesn't have to be on your shelf always exactly the same that's cool you can swap you can you can mix and match stuff along the way right so you can see here and then and then there's going to be like three variations there's going to be like the common what we call the epic and then and then the rare right gotcha and, and so and each one of them is going to be a fraction of the previous one in terms of production. So okay. they get harder and harder to find. Oh, uh, wow. That's okay. in there. And the same, same is going to happen if we go like uh, down here, which is World of Warcraft here, down here too. And, and here, t uh, it, it, yeah. you, get, you get some of the backdrops, right? So this one, I'll take this one out because it doesn't belong here, but... Um, but th again, trying to use as much of the packaging as possible, like you sure. did there. So you get all of this so that when you put it in on some of these ones, you, you've got a bit of a base oh, that has a little yeah. bit of a video game. I mean, you don't have to use it, right? We'll just let you choose it. You could turn it around if you want and just make it more of a design, yeah. right? So I'll let you, uh, and if you want, on one side, it's got basically the specs, if you will. So. You, you get, cool. We give you three or four different ways that you can use the background if you want, or you can put it in here. So uh, those are great. Yeah, and those like again, like you said, just using the packaging. So those slide just right out of the boxes, and they're ready just to be displayed. Yeah, that's so, so cool. So this is a sorceress, right? She's in here having her thing here, right? Good looking face on her. The detail on these things, I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, but. Lot, there's a lot of nice detail in all these things. Yeah. Right. The, I, I don't know if you can see that. There's like the burlap the textures on here. and everything. Oh, there's all yeah. the bead, there's all the beading on there. Um, and again, there's you know a handful of the characters that we're doing. There's some. There's some down here. Hmm? Excellent. And then cool. Coming back to out of the gate with the movie maniacs. You know, we started with essentially Disney gave us their you know, or not just, excuse me, my, my bad. <laughs> Warner Brothers uh, gave us, you know, they're celebrating their 100 years. Sure. And, and they opened up the vault to us, right? <laughs> and so we're able to sort of pick and shoot. We're going to get into and start moving more into some of the horror stuff as we sort of go back to our roots. Gotcha. But uh, okay. as we came out here, uh, we just jumped into some of the stuff that uh, Warner Brothers uh, has you know, a big library of and some of the bigger franchises. And again, you get the base, you get the backdrop, you get a card, you can display it any way you want, right? I mean, this one actually, I thought turned out pretty nice. Yeah. Right, the color, I mean, again, you're not able to get in there too cool, but the face is pretty gnarly. Oh, I love right? it. It's pretty, gnar it's pretty gnarly. And then you get the cool, creepy backdrop on there. It's, Amazing. This is just fun. Big bang. <laughs> yeah. Sheldon as the Flash. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's, a, it's goofy. That is goofy. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah, that Pennywise is incredible. Look yeah. at that. 
Oh, awesome. And then this was a line we did across the board, which obviously yeah. Jumanji. Jumanji, you know, yeah. So, Excellent. Uh, with some of the some of the big brands there. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And so obviously we had a huge success uh, with the uh, Warner Brothers consumer products uh, with their DC Multiverse line. Yes. Right? Yes. So this. With, so so this. So the Batmobile's out, right? Yeah. I mean, and again, you know, it's fun that you can actually buy Batman and shove him in there and he actually fits and whatever. So this is the physical part of it. And then what you were doing, is we're starting to open up like the NFT part, digital sure. art, right? Okay. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can acquire the Batmobile and then place it in your own museum. Oh. And, and you can collect all these figures and place them in one spot, right? So some of them will be that you can just buy the, the digital on its own. And then some are that you get the figure. And again, this is on pain, but you get the figure and you get a code that gets you the digital art, the NFT gotcha. with it, right? Okay. Um, and so again, here's like the clown. This is the toy. This is what the NFT looks like. Again, cool, sort of gnarly. Some of the, the NFTs are animated. So there's a little bit of fun. These are all, and again, these are 3D, to, to, right. be, to be very clear. So when you put them in your room, your museum, you can walk around your museum. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so the Batmobile here, you literally could walk in and walk around this entire thing. Sure, And yeah. depending on your perspective, it actually looks like it's 20 feet uh, long, right? So um, I know, and, and, and again, this is versions of some of the, NFTs were just showing like, here's the original toy, but then, you know, we get to juice up a little bit. Oh yeah, with, with the with, lights and yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah, and get to have a little bit of fun and animate it. You get to do things in it that you couldn't ne uh, do with, obviously with plastic, right? Right, And right, again, right. it's interesting, look at everything we put out, I just, I consider what we do is like plastic buffet. You put it out and you let people pick and choose what they want. There you go, Everybody's yeah. not sort of, it's interesting people have like this weird I either like it or I don't like it digital art. Here's yeah. here's what here's what people don't quite understand. The world is more than North America. It's sure. a big yes. it's a big place. And there are a lot of places where to buy a twenty dollar toy and ship it, the shipping is like a hundred or hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah to ship a $20 toy. That's $140. Right. So what ends up happening, it becomes cost prohibitive. Right. And people say, no, I'm not gonna buy it. So either they just don't ever get to buy it or you have to come up with an alternate way to get it to them. Yeah. And so I understand that there are people who just go, no, 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 I just want the physical stuff. I get it, I'm with you, right? Yeah, yeah. But there are people who live in this world where their only choice is to collect digital or nothing. Sure. And I'd sure. rather have them there. The the converse of that is that there's other countries that have all the physical stuff and you can get it readily. Right. But let's use Tokyo. Okay. Lots of people live in apartments that are literally four hundred square feet. So you don't have the space for the you physical have no stuff. right. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. You, yeah. Like if you yeah. bought four of these yeah. tours, that's like a thirty year place, right? Yeah. So they, you have to give them another option of how can you collect a bunch of stuff and not clutter your 400 square foot house. Sure. And sure. the answer is you got to go digital, digital stuff. right? Yeah. And so it's weird because people like I, ha I have this weird conversation usually with older people that they're like, well, it's hard. It's hard to understand, right? Especially like we've been collecting this physical stuff for so long. So sometimes you're like, I don't understand what you mean by collecting a digital picture like what does that yeah, mean but, but right? they're going there's no value right. i don't even know why they want it and all this other stuff yeah, and i sure, just go sure. dude like i don't care especially old people i go you're already doing it yeah so this thing that you go i don't understand yeah i don't know why people yeah. do it you're you're doing it it's on your phone yeah. go to your gallery yeah every one of those photos yeah is digital yeah yeah now right, is there right. any value in that picture of your grandchild of to course. you there is of course yeah so so what they're doing is they're buying they're buying something, but instead of it being your grandchild, it's something from a movie or a band or a TV show or a video game that they sure, like. Sure. So why can you have your digital fondness that puts a smile on your face, yeah. but somehow they're aliens by doing the exact 
same thing. See, right? like, so, I didn't know we were going to walk in here today and get like a, a lesson on NFTs with Todd McFarlane. No, I'm, no, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, it's amazing. No, I, I love the way you're explaining like offering different things for different people and everybody right. collects and differently. So, and right, and, my answer has always been, look, yeah. if, you, if, if it's not for you, don't buy it. Yes, for some no, people, that is absolutely For right. some people, that's their thing. Sure. So, and maybe because I'm an artist, right? And and the 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 thing that always got my the hair up on the back of my neck was censorship. Sure. Like, yes. If you don't like my art, I can live with that. But if you tell me my art shouldn't exist, that's censorship. Just don't buy it. Just yeah. If you don't right? like it, move on. If, right. If you don't like broccoli, just don't buy it and just take it. Just don't eat it. And guess what? <laughs> they don't. They don't. Yeah. But what they don't do is they don't go on the internet and yell about and, broccoli. <laughs> and they don't get the manager and go, "How dare you yeah. have it?" They just yeah. walk on by. And sure. I've said for yeah. decades, if you don't like what we have, walk on by. Just there do you what you do with everything else in life. Let others choose whether they like that flavor of ice cream that you might not, yeah. right? Yeah. Everybody doesn't have to be the same. That's a great thing about life. I like so, it. I like it. Um, over here, continuing sort of... Uh, back to the toys. <laughs> well, these are statues now. Okay, back to the statues. Yeah, So, the, but but still DC, well, DC, DC multiverse, Direct. right? Yeah. Which is what all that was, uh, a lot of that over there. So this is our newest one here, uh, which is Jason Mama here in his Aquaman 2 suit. And again, you can see all the cool detail on here. There's actually some nice texture in here. All those scales. I don't know. So yeah, I don't cool. know if you can even get up near, but like, and, yeah. and you can get all the scales up in the knee and stuff like that. So, yeah, right. It's amazing. I mean, so sometimes the fun of, and then you got the clear plastic that's back up in here. This is the fun of Action Comics number one. Obviously, the Blue Beetle movies out, right? And you get some nice big volume here. And then these are sort of again a little bit sort of small scale down ones. We do the DC Direct. The sort of black statues. And white Batman stuff, yeah. right? So we got yeah. a couple we got a couple like this one is interesting. That this one, the cover, if you know this cover, it actually was like at that angle. Oh, okay. Like okay. if you know the if you know the like to some extent, if you get this statue, you should almost tilt it. To match the, Yeah, it's to always match. interesting when you move things in a three D right. like this. So and that, you see them from that that's angles. that was the angle that the artist originally drew it at, right? Yeah. So again, you go, what? what it's is a different it? look. And I go, there, no, there. And that's go, oh, it. Oh, that's the cover. Wow. Um, cool. So you, you end up doing, we got, so we got a couple of the black and white. Batman's always, obviously, you know, a big fan favorite that's in there. Um, and then we're doing a line with J. Scott Campbell, one of the preeminent artists, cover artists in comic books. And he did a whole design of a bunch of female uh, characters in the um, DC line. And so this is one of the first ones coming out here. Uh, oh shit! And then I'm gonna take this off here, but I'll take her out. This face I thought turned out cool. Again, oh, this yeah. is this is based on a draw. This is based on a cover too. Right. Yeah. Right. So again, trying to trying to give people, you know, as much realism as possible in terms of what the drawing looked like. If Absolutely. you compare that drawing. Then, then you'll see it. So, Capturing the artist's rendition of right. the character. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so cool. Yeah, lots, lots of fun with it. Same, and then again, different scales. We got it down here, right? The Joker. We got Batgirl, right? But again, you can see the scale. So again, we just let people decide what size that they want, what price they want to do, and then we do sort of odd, interesting, goofy things, right? This was a, sort of the puzzle box. This was up for a toy of the year. So we'll oh, find out this yeah. weekend whether we're winning... We got three of them that are up there, but this this goofy, fun thing that was in the the movie. So um, very cool, very cool. This is uh, superpowers. Superpowers. I love again. this line. So that's a jump from yeah. high end, you know, ultra realistic to let's just have some fun. So you're talking about stuff like everybody loves different things. Like the retro stuff is totally like I love it. I oh. love I love the superpowers. Right. So. It's great. Given that we just walked by and showed you some really highly detailed stuff. Yeah. Right. This is now like intentionally simple. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Uh, and just goofy stuff, right? The like, vehicles are just the key. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're so right, good. They're just, they're, again, it's just clear plastic. You can see the seams in it. But again, when we were kids, that was it. You just go around. It's short and fat. And you just, you know, look at, you can even see her. You can even see her lasso yeah, in there. Yeah, like, right? Yep. Just, just goofy. Then you have the, the, whoops, you have the, like, the bat, the bat copter here, 
but then if you push it really bad yeah that's so cool right i mean it did become this little silly toy right this is one uh, of the newer ones i yeah. think it just started coming out because i don't have i don't have that one no yet. no no this is, right this, that's, yeah, that's the awesome. only thing about this one is that the box is kind of small yeah and bland yeah and so it doesn't look very impressive i did like I, see it in I did a video kind of and i go when you put it together because again you once you take these off you know each one of these blades is a single blade yeah right so you got to take them off um so you can we can package it so the box is only like kind of like this big or whatever and you're going eh it didn't look like much yeah uh and then but when you put it together it just it's just goofy fun awesome um easy and then we've got some three packs we've done two packs we've got the, our singles here down here again this has been pretty successful for us the batman 66 line um you know doing a lot of the toys when i was a kid and then they're allowing us now to basically use that style and add new stuff yeah that's right? that's so um cool. so so we're we're bringing in new ideas instead of going too deep in the original well right although you know i mean we still have some of the cool stuff like you know that girl, girl. Mm -hmm. she, she's fun um and then again we do vehicles right classic batmobile that you know to me is like this is my batmobile right to me i know that some people start with tim burton but this is my batmobile right the old caddy that they convert it and then and then these fun these fun uh play sets that we have where you you know you, you remember they used to take that's right that's they used right to, they used to lift this back they hit the button this would slide right the, yeah. in, in the library and then they even had it just in case they didn't understand that dick you're that's, on this side that's right bruce you're on so that they don't side. get in the wrong costumes when they don't get in the wrong the costume <laughs> they couldn't have just said hey bruce you always go on the right i'll yeah. stay on the left that's but right they got anyway the tags. you know and, and then you you know we give all these sort of pieces and you can place them wherever you want so that's cool again it just it's just this, these are just fun stuff right i i mean the bat the boat, the bat is boat. so cool yeah, just, yeah. All, everything from those movies when i was a kid um and then we jump back to again the dc multiverse and the library they have us and so these are some of the first ones now this is our first production I, set here so, so, so you get to see them like for the first time now what's interesting that the light can play tricks on it right so this is this is George Clooney right here, right? Yeah. Now, again, maybe, and you can't probably even see it, but that, like, it doesn't really, like, with that light, it doesn't quite look like him, but if you now come down here and you get the right light on it... I mean, I think that looks then, pretty no, good. I can see right, it. But I'm yeah. just saying, that, that's... The like, light if, will play tricks have, sometimes. Yeah, if you got the light in the yeah, wrong, yeah. wrong place with any of these toys, it, it doesn't look nearly as realistic as when you go, oh, there it is, right? There's George. That's right. right. So you've got, you got obviously, you know, George Clooney, you've got uh, Chris O'Connell, uh, or Donald, excuse me. Um, and then you've got Uma Thurman, and then you've got Alicia Silverstone. So, but Batgirl, Poison Ivy. That's right. Nice hair, nice color, you know, nice wash on her, on her outfit. Nice fades on the leg. But each one of them comes with it. And then, as good as all four of these, this is the best head. This is the best. I was going to say, this, the, this is what I'm the most excited this is for. The, I'm telling that's a production piece. Man. So that's not, a, that's not even a production piece. Arnold type. Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. That's, is, that's a production I'm piece. And, and you're not able to zoom in as much as I would like you to. <laughs> but that, that thing is nuts on. I can't wait. Right? I'm that's, definitely getting it. That's Arnold. And Just so it, I can run around doing Yeah, we got to do the Arnold puns like, all the time. Yeah, like, again... Once you put all that together, I've, I've always said, you can get it wrong from the neck down yeah. on an actor, you've got to get it from right from the neck up, yeah. right? Because no matter, if you get everything accurate but the face, then people won't buy it. Yeah. But if you get the face right and almost everything else wrong, oh, you're totally they'll, right. still, they'll still Absolutely. go for it. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Um, and then these are down here, just some of the ones that have come out uh, in recent times. Uh, and, it, you know, we're going all the way back. As, as you can imagine, when DC... Warner Brothers open up their vault. It goes all the way. We have access all the way to 1936. Oh wow! Which is Action Comics number one. Yeah. To today. That's so great. So anything that's ever existed in their publishing yeah. and their library, yeah, we have access to. That's great. Right. So that's great. We will go to our graves and only like skim the surface yeah. of all the things that are there. 
But again, we try to, you know, like they come with stands. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in like presentation, right? That when you have something oh, I like that. on the, there. Put the trading card on the stand. Yeah, That's right. cool. Yeah. So, so again, you don't have to. Right. But if you just, you know, go, hey, I just want to make it so it seems a little more sophisticated. Yeah. Right? So that if somebody comes, it's not like they're going, oh, you're mentally arrested. You collect toys, <laughs> right? So This is great. Yeah. Some more down here. These are some, these are some of our builder figures. Again, which is this. The Build-A-Figure line has been really popular yeah. with people buying uh, them. And like this one was Beast Boy here. You got a really cool one. And some yeah. of them get big. Some of the Build-A-Figures get pretty big, right? Like, you get you get some big... The anti-monitor. Big, yeah, you yeah. get some you get some big size ones that are in there. But anyways, some... It's good, man. Some turn out better than others, but... You know, <laughs> oh, I love them all. I'm excited. And then, and then I think this is our last... I think this is... Yeah, that's... So this is the animated, the animated. one. A uh, couple things here. So you, you, you've, got, you've got the bike, and then the bike comes with this head. So it's a bike and a head. You don't get Batman. Batman oh, it's for the Batman figure that's, okay. So you have to buy the Batman that builds the, the one, but you, if you buy the bike and you buy that Batman, you put Batman on here and you pop on the head that you gotcha. get with the bike. Because this is the head you get with the regular Batman. Yeah. And then, on top of it, too, the bike has an on-off button. And, oh, for the lighting. And, okay. and so you get, you get lighting here. I don't know if you can see yeah. that. You get lighting in the dashboard, if you will, up in here. And, some, and in the dark, it actually lights up his face a little bit. And then you get the brake light. Oh, right, so you get so you get you get that's the brake, great. You get the brake light. Amazing. And all you're doing is just turning it either on and off to have fun with it, or you can just turn it on and display it up in here and have fun with it. Uh, so, so if you but if you bought that Batman, and now you've got three of the other ones here, then you make Condiment, the Condiment King, King, which is incredible. Right? So again, and we're trying to do it so it's sort of tune shading. Sure. With a second tier, so it sort of looks like the cartoons. So if you get all four of those, and all of this is, everything you see here, this is all Target exclusive. Yeah. Right? This is, okay. all, this is all Target exclusive. And then we've got, you know, Alfred's coming in here with his little sassy head. He's like, <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not serving you any tea. I'm tired of it. I'm going to, but as you can see, you get all but this. But he does have the tea and everything. He so does he can all the tea. Yeah, he okay. can serve it okay. if you want to serve it or whatever else. So if you want an Alfred in to complete your... Batman animation, there it is, it's all there. Amazing. And then just lots of sort of page punchers where you get so much seven stuff. inch seven inch with comic books. These comic books are original. You can't get these comic books anyplace else so other than just these. with the figures. Okay. Right. So if you buy the seven inch, this story that has him and like Black Manta, like this is only here. You can't go to a comic book store and get these. The, awesome. sm the smaller ones come with a reprint come with a reprint of comic book okay and you get a, and you get a couple figures i guess I, I, yeah i didn't realize no that those are ones. those are one That's those cool. are original one one of a kind comic book awesome yep. awesome so. well i think we need to wrap it up i know you've got other appointments to okay. do, but that was a that was an exhaustive look at everything in the booth so i really appreciate sure. you like taking the time to walk us through and show us everything yeah. it's been awesome yeah thanks for coming cool. well there you guys go mcfarland toys here at new york toy fair 2023 Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair 2023. Follow Pixel Dan on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Or you can support the channel through Patreon and unlock other exclusive content. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys with Pixel Dan. See you again.